whatever I want for three or four minutes. We call this little section G Spot. My first name begins with G, so this is G Spot. How does it feel so far, folks? I'm actually enjoying it too. But I do do something very unusual for a rock and roll band. I'm going to recite you some beautiful words that are very short. In fact, I've done this segment for a long time, maybe 20 years. But tonight, I'm, the words aren't going to be like they normally are, like uh, usually they're extremely romantic, of course. But I'm going to read something which is from my, my be my third book of verse, but it's not out yet, it's coming out in a couple of months. But I'm going to read you something from it, but it's not particularly a romantic verse. It's more about something that I'm very passionate about, and that is uh, people. I love people. And I like the fact that we people are all different. We believe in different things, we may be a different color, but inside, we're all the same. Even though some people don't seem to think that. So this little story is told a very, in a very different way. This is told through the eyes of a little chicken. <laughs> yes, I said chicken. It's about being who you are, even if you're different than everyone else. Just be what you are. I know what it's like to be different when I was 13, I was, I was very tall, I was six feet tall, and everybody used to call me names because I was really skinny. And uh, nobody would go out with me. They do now. <laughs> so this is about being different, and I think it's great if you're a little bit different. This is called... <coughs> Flotilla the Hen. Flotilla the hen was one of a kind, always up front, with a nice behind. <laughs> Just a little bit different, quiet and sweet, a beautiful nature and two wet feet. She would float on the duck pond and always alone, drifting in and out of the great unknown. Why is it that I'm such a strange little bird? No one will talk to me, never a word. I still have feelings just like the rest. Cute, slender legs, two wings, a nice breast. <laughs> Don't think I didn't notice, said a calm, welcome voice, amongst all the cackling and usual noise. She turned her head quickly, as only chickens could, and there stood a vision waddling out of the mud. I'm Francis, he said, the pond's new drake. I thought I saw you floating, but there must be some mistake. No, you're right, I'm Flotilla, the chicken gone wrong. I can swim like a duck, but I'm the only one. I think that's amazing. You're so unique. And by the way, just between us, that's one sexy beak. <laughs> So they went for a paddle and a peck on the bill. The next thing you know, they were missing until a rustling of feathers was heard in the reeds. It seems they both found what the other one needs. <laughs> Chickens too. Not long after that, they were building a home with lots of little ducklings and chicks of their own. So happy to the family complete, and all of the youngsters have mother's wet feet. So if there is a moral, it is be who you are. Each of us as different as the next. We all make the world what it's meant to be. And it's bigger, much bigger, than you might expect.